Captain Boofer, what have you. Sir, there's a separatist position on a beach not far from here. They've established heavy positions that are in the way of us trying to reconnect with Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hmm, so we need to break through the beach defense. How do you suppose we do that? How about we drop in with LAAT gunships? No, no, that's too obvious. Let's use outdated amphibious landing crafts. S sir uh, or, or we could not do that. No, soldier. This is the most brilliant idea ever. Get the men ready. We sail at dawn. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and today is June 6th, the anniversary of the D-Day Allied invasion into the German Atlantic Wall in Normandy uh, in 1944. And I thought today it would only be fitting if we did a D-Day style invasion. Um, I just wanted to take a moment just to, you know, thank all the troops and, and um, you know, if anyone out there has served or you've had family who's served um, or anything like that. Uh, seriously, that's an amazing thing to do to serve your country. No matter the politics that are going on right now, it's... Uh, truly an, an amazing thing and a, an act of bravery and not, and not something to be taken lightly so uh thank you to everyone who has served and uh yeah so we'll get on with the video here so we have the 212th uh attack legion here uh in their striking orange armor uh some of them are in these lvcvp um little landing crafts but these actually don't move on the map there's something kind of busted with this map and the water like isn't really water um, and so like I can show you these don't actually move forward at all so oh well we just have a bunch of them sitting in the front so we're gonna say they came to this objective and now they're unloading their troopers and then there's more back here who already unloaded their troopers uh, into the water and now the 212 is going to be attacking uh, from their new positions here against these droid encampments uh, which are all over the beach. They have a serious number of troopers waiting for these clones on the beachhead. It is going to be epic. Uh, they've also got troopers up on this uh, hillside up here um, and then also up on this hillside over here. So there's a lot of droids. And then finally, uh, we get back here where the main separatist base is. We got two more trenches of droids. We've got this little droid hideout here. Uh, and then over here we have this cargo area, which is chock full of more battle droids. So, should be a really interesting battle. I think it'll be really fun to watch. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into this Clone Wars D-Day Beach Invasion. Hey guys, real quick before this video starts, I just wanted to let you know that from June 2nd until June 9th, I'm going to be messaging one person on my Overtone team, Daily Tactics YouTube, a copy of Men of War Assault Squad 2 completely for free. There's only three things you need to do to enter into this giveaway. Like this video, be subscribed to the channel, and join the Daily Tactics Overtone team. Uh, link is in the description to that below. And yeah, you have very good odds of winning. There's not too many people in this team. I thought it'd be a fun way to sort of give back to you guys as well as grow this community on Overtone. So please enjoy the following video and best of luck in the giveaway. All right, you bad Larrys, let's go ahead and press start. I am, imagine immediate action and that they're okay. What? Well, okay, uh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> oh my God, those two landing craft just absolutely got yote into the sky gosh dang that was insane uh still okay still two remaining i was gonna say three uh still two remaining which is good they do have uh american 50 caliber uh machine guns on them so i mean that's that's good they apparently made a stop by earth and we're like man we need these if we're gonna do a real real d-day invasion um oh i forgot to mention there are uh anti-personal mines dotting the beach in various places we can see them here marked by the green flags but the clones uh don't know where they are so that'll be interesting once the clones actually reach the beach uh <laughs> if they reach the beach because uh at the moment it's not looking too good um sorry i'm just adjusting the camera here it's not in the greatest positions um yeah so if the clones ever reach the beach then they'll have to deal with those uh, droid mines all over the place there, which is gonna be gonna be tough. 
Um, these droids up on the hillside seem to be getting pretty thoroughly suppressed. The clones are getting a lot of fire out down from the water there. Uh, what's nice about this beach is that it does have like these little sand dunes here and there. So those will, I think, a little bit protect the clone troopers as they come up onto the beach. Uh, and we can actually see that in action here as these droids aren't really able to hit all these clones back here that are hiding behind the sand dune. Uh, but it's also working for the effect of the droids because the uh, landing craft here for the clone troopers isn't able to hit them behind the sand dunes either. So it's a little tit for tat there. Uh, not really clear on who's going to take the most advantage of this position, but it does seem like the clones over here are getting pegged pretty good when they do come in range of these droids uh, just behind that little sand dune. So that's definitely a good good point for the droids is that they can hold that choke point and that they can uh, you know pressure the clones from an angle uh, so this is a pretty good position for the droids um, hillside droids are taking more and more losses lots of them going down now uh, the problem is they got really suppressed and then they're just not able to really output that much fire and so they're getting really shot to bits uh, without much resistance uh, the right side of the beach over here seems almost completely devoid of droids. There's one rocket trooper droid right here uh, against one clone on the sand. There's another right there. Uh, so the clones did a nice job of cleaning up this area, but I think what happened was that these droids in the dead center started to fire at those clones, um, wiping them out pretty sufficiently. So the backup droids back here in the back lines, um, they really started playing a part on the right side over here. Uh, meanwhile, on the left, I think they have a harder harder time actually hitting these guys. Oh, clones are coming up onto the grenades here. Wait, yeah, we can we can observe. Yeah, we can we can see these grenades though. Guys, be careful, be careful. Come on, this guy is tangoing with death right now. He is laying right in front of that grenade. Oh no, and he killed. Oh no, the body flew and hit that one too. That's so brutal. Oh, more clones coming up on these grenades here. Oh, guys, be careful. Be careful. Okay. It's kind of sick to watch them just get absolutely, like, they hit the grenade and just fly. They just fly. Oh, that, well, that one didn't fly. He got disintegrated. Uh, there's only actually four um, mines over here left. Make that three. Make that two. The clones really are hitting every single one. They are not skipping a beat. Oh my good gracious. That's insane. Um, oh, and more mines over here also going off for these clones. That's really tough. They should have brought the minesweepers with them, man. That would have helped them tremendously in this battle. Uh, considering they just took so many losses from those. Alright, so these droids in the uh, sort of canyon walls area here are starting to go down a little bit more as the clones over on the right side who just came out of the water begin to really pressure them. Though the droids are still getting a lot of good kills on them, so uh, it's not quite over yet. Um, and then these guys over here are actually coming up uh, even further too. These clones are just absolutely destroying these droids now. Total Annihilation. Uh, really, really wrecking them. Uh, there is a droid with a shotgun over here who's still alive, so maybe he could get a kill or two. Uh, there's also a few droids up on, uh, this very peak of the hill. Now there's only one left. Oh, this droid with a shotgun over here. He got a nice grenade off. That's pretty cheeky. He's getting a few shotgun shells out. Looks like he might have killed a few of these clones here. Very nice. Oh, but he does end up going down there. Uh, this one droid up here on the peak is getting very, very pressured by a whole lot of clone troopers. This might not end super well for you, friend. Um, there were droids... Yeah, there are still a few droids up here. Um, looks like they're all shotgun and pistol droids, though, at this point, so... They're not gonna be exactly very, very helpful. Uh, this little command center area for the battle droids is still very well defended. Uh, that'll be good, except the clones have a very open path to come at them and suppress this narrow opening. Um, which could really work out in their favor because the clones are going to be able to spread out over this open plane and avoid this choke point. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, though the droids could just kind of duck behind the walls here and, uh, and get a lot of cover from there. I'm not totally sure how that's going to work out, but it'll, it'll certainly be 
interesting to see. Yeah, it does seem like the clones are getting a lot of suppressive fire down, but it's not stopping the droids from responding with their own fire. They've only got one sniper in this tent, it seems. A couple of riflemen, though, and those rifles are pretty good at long range, but uh, having more snipers would have been probably pretty nice for them. Uh, looks like a couple clones tried to climb over the walls here. Uh, this guy's still alive, but, but these three up here all died. Uh, but there's still more squads, and it looks like they're going to be coming up over this hill, too. Um, and uh, actually, they've gotten a few droid kills. Oh, that, those might have been from the beach troopers over there. Um, so that should be kind of interesting to see, because because having clones attacking from above and from below simultaneously could be a really, really effective strategy. And they really supplied a lot of clones up here to do that. Um, but the problem is, yeah, they got to crest over this hillside and get shots off. Um, meanwhile, the droids are just pouring fire into them. So it's not exactly working out for them. And they don't really have a huge push coming from the beach at the moment. It's just sprinkled fire. So uh, you know, the little double whammy pincer movement there isn't isn't optimal, optimal at the moment. So it's a... We're seeing a lot of clone death, is what I'm getting at. And, uh, yeah, all those guys got shredded. Uh, there's still a f uh, yeah, there's still a few over here that could, could potentially do some damage to the droid lines. We'll have to see if they step up. Step up two to the streets. I think that's what Step Up 2 was called. I can't remember. It's been ages since I watched those movies. I used to remember there was a kid named Moose, and he was fly to death. Oh, he was dope. Look at this DC-15X trooper. A force to be reckoned with. This guy can knock the head off of a droid from so far away. Those things are absolutely insane. All right. Uh, droids in here are starting to take more and more losses, but they're, they're kind of surviving for way longer than I ever really thought they would. Um, I thought these guys were probably going to be victims of the clones pretty quickly and go down. I thought the real defense was going to be over here, but but these guys are holding out really, really well. Uh, some more clones attacked the from the peak up here, actually, um, and one of them still getting a solid amount of fire out. Good on you, bud. Uh, though he did get gunned down right there, but... Dang, son, um, those droids are holding that hill and the beach simultaneously. That's actually kind of impressive that they're able to maneuver their troopers to do that. Wait, are there more mines there? Yeah, there are more mines here. No! Oh, no, the clones! Oh, my friends! My friends! Watch out for the mines! Please! Oh, it's really- it makes me antsy watching them walk around on the mines! Buddies! No, be careful! Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. It makes you really nervous. <laughs> it's like they're walking in a minefield. That's how nervous it makes you. Funny. Um, Alright, so the clones are actually getting really close to these droid defenses now. Um, Still a sizable amount of droids within this area, but uh, they're not really able... Well, not all of them have the angle on that beach that these guys do. So these guys will stay alive for quite a while until the clones get very, very close, which will be good for the Separatists. Um, meanwhile, these droids over here, they have taken some losses throughout this battle, but they're still going pretty strong with a, a solid amount of troopers. They're still having to deal with these guys up here, though. And now that there's a closer clone assault on this um, area while simultaneously one going on up here, I think that's going to cripple the droids a bit more. Them having to worry about the uh, the hill and the beach at the same time is going to be definitely devastating. We're seeing a lot of clones, though, going down straight down the middle here, um, and their once great amount of numbers is dwindling wholeheartedly. <laughs> it's getting pretty bad. Um, is there a droid here, or was that just a terrible grenade? Who knows? All right, but it's good to see the clones still putting up a pretty decent fight. Uh, they're still getting a lot of fire out. They're just taking a lot more losses. I'd say they should probably focus on this area first. Take this objective, then rotate around this way. Because then you'd actually have the cover from this bridge. Um, and you could sort of hit them from this side. And that'd be pretty decent. But where they stand right now, they're just getting shot from both ends. And that's not really conducive to, uh, to gaining a victory here. So, I don't know about that one. Um, I don't see any more DC-15Xs either. 
Um, and having a few of those powerhouses in your armory would definitely sway the battle. Um, but they might have used them all up because I really don't see them. Um, maybe there's one or two out there that I'm just not seeing, but um, really having those, it makes a difference. Having just one in an, in an armed force in this mod is just insane. I mean, we saw it with, um, you know, Commander 55 from Rico's Brigade. His namesake was that he got... 55 kills in one defense with the DC-15X. Like, that should just show you the power. Like, that's that's the numbers you'd expect a tank to get, you know, before dying. Or, a, you know, an artillery piece that's out of the way of the enemy. Like, or a mortar. It's, it's heavy artillery stuff, but in a cannon that one soldier can move around and operate. Like, it's, it's insane. It's really, really good. Um... And I'm blabbering on about it, but they don't have one, so oh, that's not good. Uh, there are actually quite a number of clones. I didn't really realize, just sort of stalling over here, hiding behind these cliffs. It seems like maybe every once in a while a couple of them are heading up this way and um, attacking from above, which, I, I mean, I'll let them keep doing that because I think that's a pretty good strategy and it's, you know, at least the, the battle's still progressing. But if these guys are stuck back here and nothing's happening, I might rotate them around to actually join the battle later on. Well, this guy's got, got a VATR still. That's a that's a pretty good assault rifle. And it actually looks like a World War II weapon, the um, FG-42, uh, which was a German airborne weapon, I believe, uh, used by the Luftwaffe. But in this case, it's uh, a clone laser gun. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, um... God, like, sometimes you stop and imagine what it'd be like, you know, coming up the beaches of D-Day. Like, you know, you watch Saving Private Ryan, and they, you know, Steven Spielberg does such an, a phenomenal job of representing the pure fear and nerves that you'd be feeling, and, you know, soldiers are, they're out of control of their bodies, they're vomiting, they're shaking violently. Um, they're praying, they're just trying to avoid their inevitable fate. Um, like, to, th to think that that's a real thing that happened, and, and soldiers had to do that, it's insane. It really makes you respect those, those men of that generation. It's in, it's insane. Uh, it's, it's really something I could never imagine. I don't think anyone can imagine unless you've you've witnessed the event firsthand you were a part of it you know you can't possibly come to understand what they had to do and deal with emotionally and you know the trauma they experienced that's it's crazy crazy man and that was you know before ptsd was even like established so after the war they just kind of had to deal with their emotions i suppose you know like it wasn't socially acceptable to, you know, see a psychiatrist and things like that at that time. So like, you you were basically considered crazy or insane or a madman if you if you went to a therapist. Um, so, you know, to to keep that kind of a thing bottled up is is crazy too. Yeah, because I mean, they called it shell shock back then. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, they knew the effects a battle would have on someone. Obviously, they understood that there was some sort of uh, after effect of traumatic emotional after effect of being in a battle that was just devastating or in any sort of warfare. Um, but, you know, there wasn't the same kind of sympathy for post traumatic stress disorder as there is today. They hadn't even defined it really. So, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, but the clones right now, progress update, uh, they've eliminated some more troopers in this cargo area, um, and they've eliminated a few more over here, but there's still a lot of droids over this way. I just don't think they have an angle to kill any clones, really. Um, the clone force is really kind of faltering here. Oh, actually, this U-boat never... This isn't a U-boat, it's a transport. Um, 
You boats a submarine. They never disembark, so we'll disembark these soldiers. Oh, this one never did too. See, I told you these boats were weird in this battle, so we'll just disembark these soldiers. I guess the the clones are getting amphibious reinforcements right now. Heck yeah, boy! It's pretty sick. Uh, these guys never came forward either. What the heck, bro? What the heck? Yeah, a bit of a glitchy map. Uh, there were some other problems I had to kind of sort out before too. All right, and then let's yeah, let's scoot these guys who are just sitting. Oh, whoops. Sitting behind this wall being real dumb. Uh, let's let's just scooch them on forward. Because the AI, like I said, is uh, big dumb. Oh, there's another right, gathering general. over here just chilling right there. So, to the front with you. You lot, to the front. Oh, there we go. They're actually doing it on their own, too. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So, a uh, sort of reinvigorated clone army is coming on forward now to deal with these uh, damaged droid units let's see if they can actually do it though because although the droids have certainly taken a lot of losses uh at this point in the battle and they're nowhere near the same strength they were at the start uh now they're down to their soldiers who are in the most optimal positions these are the soldiers who have managed to get kills on all of the troopers that have attacked them and um you know they have the choke points they have the proper weaponry uh these are the tried and trusted uh, battle droids. So, might be a little tough. Might be a little tough. We'll see. Clones coming forward. They're they're scooching very very far to the right here, um, but also paying attention to their flank over this way and peppering these droids with some fire. But the droids also getting some good fire back at these clones. Um, like I said, really just deal with this area. Just come in here, throw a couple of grenades in there, um, and bingo bango bongo. You can focus all your energy on these guys right here, and it'll be far easier, but they can't seem to understand to do that. Alright, clones, though, uh, are sending forces this way, so maybe they will do that. Oh, heck yeah, they're listening to my advice, guys. Oh, a rare sight indeed. Very, very rare, but there's still a lot of droids over here. These guys will not go down without a fight, I can guarantee you that, so we'll have to see what ends up happening in the long run here. Um... These droids over here, they're they're pretty holed up right now. They don't have too many troopers who are sort of facing the outside, able to get fire out at these clones. Um, most of them are, you know, taking cover behind the crates and things like that. So they might have a little trouble uh, helping out these droids over this way. Um, but these guys aren't really looking like they're needing too much help. They're getting some good fire out. Well, they are kind of pinned down. I take it back. There you go, they're getting a couple kills here. Uh-oh. Come on, guys, help out. Stand up, help. You got this. There you go. Nice. Uh-oh, clone's coming from this side, too, though. That's dangerous. Grenade's going off. Oh, but the clones are distracted over here. Nice. That could give these droids an opportunity. Droids, watch out. Flanker. Flanker. Oof. He got two kills before he went down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, grenades coming in. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is turning into du derp fest, my friends. Uh, big explosion there. And this uh, base over this way has officially fallen for the... Oh, no, 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 it hasn't. Pistol droid. He got a cheeky grenade off there. Way to go, boy. All right, now this area is officially fallen, right? No, it hasn't. There's another droid! Boy! An E5 rifleman. Not the finest weapon, but when you're this close, it doesn't really matter. Alright, now, now shoot him. He seems to have activated stealth protocols for the droids. Oh, he's got the grenade. Uh-oh. He whips the grenade out. Really? Mediocre grenade. Uh, and he gets gunned down over here by this clone trooper. That's a shame. I expected big things from him. Um, these droids over here, though, beginning uh, their final defense of this area as the clones begin to pressure them a little bit more. Uh, seems like a few are still focusing on this upper area over here. Um, oh, it looks like... Maybe there's a couple clones down here that might work their way up that way and attack from above. That'd be interesting to see. 
A bunch of clones going down on the outside of this uh, crate area. But these clones are using the bridge as a defensive position. Oh my goodness, they took my advice. Oh boy. Oh boy indeed. And these two are doing a lot of work over here it seems. Oh, grenades getting thrown over this way. Oh lordy, there's a five. Let's see, how are you guys doing? You got two kills, you got four. Um, you got one. You got none. One. None. Two. Nice. None. None. Okay, so, these Bactras, they, they all have a couple kills. Yeah, these guys both have one. This guy's got none. This guy's got none. So some of these droids do have some kills. Um, not all of them, though. But they're pulling their weight enough to get get some clone kills now, so that's good. They'll start racking up those numbers, hopefully, and staving off his attack. And actually, that they are. They're, they're doing a heck of a job. This is turning into quite a choke point here uh, amongst these crates. I think the way the clones can, can really break through is grenading, and that's what they're doing right now. Um, you know, you don't have to expose your body to throw a grenade over a crate, and that's, that's key here. That is key, my friends. All right, all quiet right now. Clones are contemplating. There's still guys on the beach way back here? I wonder if there's still... This guy got so lucky navigating those mines. Way to go, buddy. There are three mines left here. No mines left here. Um, and a few mines left over here. That's insane. It's insane the amount of mines that, that the clones had to deal with. And that they tripped on. They tripped on so many of the mines. It was actually insane. Alright. Droid's really holding out over here. This is, uh... It's going pretty well. Oh, no. Buddy! What? You saw the grenade. Why didn't you do something? Now, that was an in inexcusable move right there. That was, that was truly dreadful. But it did allow for the clones on the bright side, these guys, for this enemy force... It allowed them to come a lot further forward. And they're getting more shots off now. Hopping from crate to crate, utilizing that cover. Love to see it. Indeed, indeed. Oh, little attack from above. I saw some laser fire from up here. Yeah, there's a couple clones crawling up this way. Looking to get a cheeky shot off. Oh, that guy had a DC-15X. So there, there was still a... DC-15X troopers amongst the ranks, but he is dead now, so that's that. <laughs> wonder if there are any more. It really can make a difference if they do have them. All right, all quiet on the front once more. Clones have taken some severe losses at this point. This, uh, this battle's not quite going their way right now. Uh, it's a prolonged battle, which is the problem. Because with these battles, you think the, the force is doing so amazing when you see them in the beginning with their huge force wiping out droid after droid. But it's, it's that fatigue, it's attrition in their troopers. And you know the further back they get into the map, the less and less troopers they have at their disposal until they're too weak to take the end point. So I think that's what we're seeing right now. Um, but not to the full extent. There's still hope because they've still got um, a good solid number of troops and um, they're making progress. They're at least getting a few kills every so often here. So It's not the end of the world yet. It's not the end of this battle. They're going to keep on uh, fighting it away here. I believe. I believe in them. They got this, man. Let's see. There's not even too many droids left. Oh my god, there's a droid way back here. Where is this droid? Oh, it's the shotgun droid that's way up here on this cliffside. My boy. Oh my god, these clones, they got out of the landing craft, but they never came forward. What? You guys, you guys get on forward here. There you go, so. It's like the clones are getting s small reinforcements every few minutes here. Um, even though it's just units they didn't use in the initial part of the attack. Even without those reinforcements, they've come farther forward again. Um, and they're actually doing really well. That was a cheeky little grenade. Got two kills. 
Um, and now this guy's laying down some serious fire against these droids in the back here who were previously giving the clones quite a bit of trouble. This guy's got five kills. Um, and it looks like they've still got consistent attackers from the top up here doing a little bit of damage from above. Death from above. Very nice. All right, these guys are scattering amongst the crates now, moving forward. Peeking around corners. This is what I live for. You guys know I love this kind of battle strats. Ooh, baby. Gets me all hot and heavy. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, it's stuck to the droid's pelvis. You blew his pelvis off. Now that's just rude, man. Oh, that guy, like, flipped backwards when he got shot. Oh, big push over here from this clone. Now that is some energy. He has the moves. This droid with the shotguns just kind of chilling here. They're friends now. They're amigos. They, they, they're cool with each other. As he kills the droid's friends. Oh. 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 And, uh... Yeah, that's the end for the uh, the amigos right there. The two amigos, clone and droids. Who knew they could live together? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right. Clones over here doing doing some spicy things, dodging that grenade, but getting headshot immediately after. Hate to see it. Um. So the droids in the courtyard still have not broken, but their outskirt defenses are slowly getting withered away. Um, and the, the chokehold on this droid defensive position is tightening. I, I really don't know who's going to win this battle, if I'm being completely honest. I think it could go either way. The clones have a good shot. The droids have a good shot at this. Who the heck knows, man? I think right now the clones definitely do have the numbers if they manage to pull off a few more kills here. But if they get stuck in his choke point and they lose, you know, half of this force, then they might be donezo. Never know. I think they just got to get a little bit closer. They're fighting from a distance in these choke points, but I think if they if they got into the nitty-gritty, like hold up behind these uh, defenses, things like that, and got, like, good defensive positions going, they, they, could, they could do something. And they are pushing forward, so that's good. Oh... Machine gunner getting shot by a shotgunner. Oh, grenades coming in. Oh my goodness, that was a really good droid grenade. Way to go, droids. Oh, that clone got absolutely blasted. This shotgun trooper over here is causing some trouble right now. He's got three kills. That ain't bad. Yeah, look at this guy. Oh my goodness. Yeeting them into oblivion. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Flick shot to the top. That was MLG as heck. Dang, and right back to shooting these clones in front of him. Whoa, that clone went for the peak and got absolutely capped. It's like something out of Rainbow Six Siege. All right. Still a solid amount of clones left, but... I don't know, man. This shotgun trooper is, has birthed new life into these droids. He's got six kills pretty impressive man all right let's get the very last remaining clones forward there's like six randos just sort of sprawled out throughout the map just get all forces together here just everyone conjugate in this area oh shotgun trooper gets shot up oh but huge grenade play from the droids right there so they lost a valuable asset but in in that loss they managed to take out a lot of troopers so not bad, not bad. A little tit for tat. Alright, last reinforcements for the clones have arrived. It's not much, but anything will do right now. They need anything they can get their grubby little hands on. Oh, another grenade from the droids coming in hot. Oh, jeez. Whoa! That dude went flying. This is, uh... This is really no bueno. Yeah, heal up if you gotta. Now would be the time. <laughs> this is so bad. For the clones. For the droids, it's awesome. It's a heck of a defense. Oh! Huge clone grenade. Oh my goodness! Yes! Oh! This guy got in there! But he got domed by, by an E5 rifle. 
That was a pathetic grenade. You call that a grenade, soldier? You, you yeeted your boy into this box. <laughs> How many droids we got left? All right, we got like 10 maybe? Two here. Maybe like six here. One here, one here, one here. A couple over here. So maybe like 15. And, uh, let's see. Three clones there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then this guy back here doesn't want to... Might be stuck. So we'll drag him forward. Hey, go, buddy. Yeah, so not nearly as many clones as there are droids. That's not good. Oh. The grenade game has been on point for the droids and less so for the clones. Oh my goodness, it's a DC-15X trooper. He's come out of the woodwork at just the right time. Oh, get that grenade off, boy. No! Wow, that was a blood-curdling scream. I hope you guys could hear that. <gasps> Look at this DC-15X beast of a trooper. How many kills you got, bud? Three? That's what I expect from a DC-15X trooper. Only the best. All right, and then there's still like clones just hanging out back here. You guys just need to get forward here. Just join your brothers. Join your brothers, come on. All right, final attack, final push here. We're gonna force the clones to go in. There you guys go. Get some fire off, boys. Oh God, grenades are coming in hot. Oh jeez. Clones are getting like no fire off. Oh no. Well, they did get a few kills there with that grenade, I think. Well, it's down to these three. The wow, this turned into a 33 minute video. I genuinely thought this was going to be like a 15 minute video. I ran the battle once before, um, but I didn't do it all the way through. I just wanted to make sure it didn't last like five seconds. Um, but I did not expect for it to last 33 minutes. That's insane. All right, get on forward here, guys. I want to go to bed. Daily wants to go to bed. All right, grenades going out. A little bit of fire coming out, too. And there she goes. The droids held in this D-Day battle. This droid had six kills. This one had four. This one had ten. This one had one. This one had none. 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 One. None. None. One. All right, so the droids held out in the end, which is kind of insane. Uh, <laughs> check out the losses. So, uh, yellow are dead clone troopers. Oh, my God. Everywhere. Everywhere. No joke. Everywhere there are dead clone troopers. They died in every place imaginable. And some of their bodies got disintegrated. So this isn't even everyone. Um, and then red are dead droids, and um, the droids had maybe a third the amount of units as the clones had, but they had those defensive positions on lock, baby. So they really held out there. So that was impressive. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe if you did. Follow me on Instagram. Link in the description. We're trying to get to 1,000 followers. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.